Hey guys, welcome to my video on acid-base disorders. I'm going to start out by reminding you to please subscribe and turn notifications on. So recall in my previous video that I examined the pH and if it matched with a low bicarbonate, the conspicuous disorder was metabolic acidosis. There was one calculation to be done for normal anion gap metabolic acidosis, and an additional calculation to be done for high anion gap. So the anion gap is very important. In fact, you should always check the anion gap first. If there is an elevated anion gap in the problem, there is always a high anion gap metabolic acidosis present, regardless of what is conspicuous, regardless of what the pH is, regardless of what the bicarbonate is. So if there is a high anion gap present, you can proceed through both analytic calculations as described in the first video of this series. You will get the proper combination of disorders with this method. So here's an example, and remember for the purpose of this series, the bicarbonate the normal value is 24. The pressure of carbon dioxide, the normal value is 40. So the first thing you do is calculate the anion gap. So the anion gap is 25, and that is high. Therefore, there is a high anion gap metabolic acidosis present. Proceed with the method as described in my first video. So the expected pressure of carbon dioxide is between 36 and 40. Thus we have an additional respiratory acidosis because the pressure of carbon dioxide we're given is 45. Now the delta is 13 so the corrected bicarbonate is 28 and there is a metabolic alkalosis. So the final answer is high anion gap metabolic acidosis respiratory acidosis, and metabolic alkalosis. The second example, so again, we first calculate the anion gap, and it's, four, it's, it's 24, and this is high. So the anion gap is 24, therefore this is a high anion gap metabolic acidosis present. There is a high anion metabolic acidosis present, and we're going to proceed with the method as described in my first video. So the expected pressure of carbon dioxide is between 30 and 34. Thus, there is an additional respiratory alkalosis. The delta is 12, and thus the corrected bicarbonate is 28. And there is a metabolic alkalosis. So the final answer is high anion gap metabolic acidosis, respiratory alkalosis, and metabolic alkalosis. So coming soon in part three of the series, I'll be going over cases where the anion gap is normal, but the conspicuous disorder is not metabolic acidosis. So please subscribe for instant notifications of my future uploads, and thank you for watching.